we have listed important events on the 285th day of the war. According to the Chief of U.S. Intelligence, fighting in Ukraine has slowed and both sides are preparing to repair and replenish in preparation for a counteroffensive after the winter. Russia's defense ministry claimed its soldiers were conducting effective operations at the Bamut region and had forced Ukrainian troops back. Ukrainian forces were maintaining positions throughout the front line in the east, notably near Bamut town, which is seen as Russia's next objective in its push into the Donetsk area, according to President Vladimir Zelensky. According to US official, Russian President Vladimir Putin is not juni about peace talks with Ukraine while bringing the war to a new level of barbarism by assaulting civilian infrastructure. Before any negotiations with Putin, the Kremlin claimed the West must recognize Moscow's stated acquisition of new territory in September. French President Emmanuel Macron was criticized by Ukraine and its Baltic allies for recommending that the West consider Russia's demand for security assurances if it agrees to peace negotiations, a price limitation of Russian seaborne oil imposed by the European Union. The G7 and Australia went into effect as the West sought to millet Moscow's ability to fund its conflict in Ukraine. Russia stated that it will continue to find markets for its oil citing China and India as examples. To reach all the actual news faster and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.